Very cool. Three, two, one. Hey, this is Victor. I am here with Steven Rivera. Um, he's a student of mine in one of my courses and just wanted to chat with him. We're going to be talking about how Steven sold his house using some of my advice and got set up for his first flip, which we're going to be taking action on here in the next 90 days. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Doing good. How are you, Victor? I'm good. I'm good. Appreciate you taking the time. Uh, well, I'd yeah. love to open it up. What's your background? You know, what, what do you do? Well, my background, um, well, before the military, I was in the medical field, so didn't have any real realistic experience um, until I started getting into wholesaling. Um, and now just trying to get into the house flipping business to get those bigger margins. Mm -hmm. So you're a wholesaler um, and now you're looking to, to do like bigger deals, do your own deals type of thing. Right. Okay, yep. cool. And then, so it's you, and then if, is your wife involved in the business at all? Or is it just you primarily? Yeah, she does. Well, yeah, she, she has her hands in it. She, she'll do a lot of uh, computer work, you know, data entry and mm -hmm. driving for dollars. And um, yeah, she's pretty involved in it. Okay, cool. So she helps yeah. out when possible. Definitely. And then also, congrats. I know you're going to have a baby here pretty soon. Six months old. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's why I kind of paused for a second because now that she's pregnant, you know, she's kind of been on the back burner. So mm. yeah. So, yep. We're due in November. So we're excited and uh, looking to flip some houses before, you know, she turns five. We have some, you know, some goals. So that's awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And then uh, which market are you in? We're in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay. Chattanooga. Cool. So that's yep. Hamilton County. Gotcha. Okay. And do you remember how we first connected? Yeah. Um, so I think we first, when we first met, it was through Chris Chico's program. Right. Yep. And uh, then we kind of talked on the side, you were doing flips um, and, you know, I joined your course further on down the road. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's where we first initially met. Yeah, that's right. I remember we just went back and forth that's and right. you really wanted to get into flipping. Like you were doing wholesaling and doing well, uh, yeah. but the wholesaling's good, but you take, you know, home five, 10 grand checks and with like yeah. flipping, you can do, you know, 30, 40, 50 grand checks, which is yeah. just fantastic. Okay. And I think, yeah, I was sharing with you at first how it seems like a big leap where it's like more, to me, it's more fearful. I guess I'm more fearful when it comes to flipping homes. It's almost like a barrier that I need to cross. So mm -hmm. um, hope to, you know, get better in that department with you. We'll get, yeah, we'll get you there for sure. And so do you remember what your goal was or do you, what are your goals currently? Well, currently, um, so I'm 26. We want to have, I think it's 10 rentals by 30. You know, that kind of changes, okay. you know, as things come up, but that's, that's one of my goals is to have, to acquire 10 rentals or just to, you know, be comfortable with flipping by the time we're 30 and, you know, to have 10 rentals by 30. So mm -hmm. that's our, that's our goal right now. Yeah. That's really doable too. Um, especially if you do a couple good flips, then you have a base of capital, like, okay, mm -hmm. cool. Now I can use that as a down payment for a rental. It becomes a lot easier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, if you wouldn't mind going to the story, because you're going to be selling your house here, and then you're going to use some of that money for flips. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what your goal was with yeah. selling your house and the story behind that? For sure. Yeah. So um, my wife and I decided to go ahead and put our house on the market because um, we saw that the equity we had could basically fund or just get us started when it comes to flipping. Um, so, you know, we're 10 days away from closing um, and we did a bunch of repairs here ourselves. We spoke to, you know, realtors and looked for flat rate listings to list our house mm -hmm. just to keep as much money as we could. And um, which, you know, you, you kind of told us about the flat rate listing. Um, but yeah, just, trying to sell to fund our future of flipping. So we'll have a good 
chunk to to work with in the future Mm -hmm. um so yeah we found through like wholesaling i guess contacting the owner we found an off-market property it's like 2.15 acres with a property on on an existing structure so we plan on fixing that and you know just kind of repeating and going forward so that's pretty much where we're at right now with that no, that's fantastic. Yeah, I remember you used some of my advice um, in terms of selling y'all's house. And I think you guys got above asking price. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. listed at 180 Okay. and we were offered 185.5. So. Okay, nice. And that's closing in 10 days. Yeah, that's going to be a huge uh, jump for you guys. That's going to be lots of cash in the bank. Fantastic. Now you can go on and do the next thing. You'll be yeah. well set up for your first flip here. Okay, cool. Okay, interesting. And then, so why did you actually decide to do business with me? Do you, um, well, I think when we got to talking about just the whole flipping side, I, I was very stuck and basically comfortable with the wholesaling side. So, you know, we talked about how, you know, how much more spread there is or how much monthly income could be could be coming in as opposed to just a one paycheck and that's it so you know i was just really intrigued with that um and the way you were explaining it just makes it seem reachable or attainable Mm -hmm. um so and it was just in time because my wife and i were considering you know hey why don't we every fifth wholesale deal we flip or you know if there's a really sweet one that comes in Mm -hmm. we um we keep it like the one when you you and I started talking was a property that was worth, you know, the ARV was 120 and we got it under contract for 30. We wholesaled it for 60,000 and, you know, we made like 28,000, but we could have made way more, which, you know, you explained. And till today, you know, we hold, we wholesaled that, but like, I'm still like, man, I wonder how much more we could have made. So, You know, it's just one of those things where I'll just keep thinking back to that and kind of apply it to the future now through flipping. So, yeah, so that's, that's basically what really got me wanting to work with you. Yeah. Well, that's a good way to look at it. You know, you can absolutely do that where you wholesale the rest and you keep the best, keep or flip the best. And especially, I remember that deal, that was a home run deal. Yeah. Um, and the, the advice I always give is, you know, don't necessarily fall in love with the deal. Like yeah. you're consistently getting good deals. So you know, I'm not worried. I think you'll find another one here pretty soon. Yeah. As long as you For keep sure. at it. Okay. The next one, next one will be a home run. How about that? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm like drooling at the mouth for another home, home run one. So there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then would you recommend for others to work with me as well? Definitely. Yeah. Um, because just how you explain it compared to like other people it's i don't know i think it just seems more attainable it's almost i know this sounds dumb but down to my level i guess it's not like i don't know it's just something that really stuck with me where i would definitely recommend people to to join your your group and have you as a teacher going along um i really I really do think there's there's just something about it it's very applicable to you know it's not out of this world where you think it's something that's impossible mm-hmm. no, i appreciate the the compliment i just try to make everything clear and get it as simple as possible yeah. Uh, but yeah so why should someone listening take action well i mean it's better to take action than to just be crippled by fear and worry of is this going to work or is this not going to work which you know, I've been affected by that, but, um, you know, just taking action, you know, taking action now and, you know, just have faith that it's going to pay off. You know, you just follow the steps and, um, you know, checking with you, you're a wealth of knowledge. So checking in with you is also like, a, you know, I can do this. Victor's done it before. And, you know, just don't be fearful. Go ahead and jump in and do it. That's perfect. No, I appreciate that. Well, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. Any last words, any final thoughts as we wrap up? 
no, um, I'm just excited to see, you know, where, you know, how, where I will be by 30 and other people, I encourage them to go ahead and jump in now. So they're not at, you know, 30 and then they're like, you know what, I'm going to start. So that would just add, you know, start now and don't wait, don't let those fears that stop you or keep you up, uh, creep in, just kind of go ahead and take the leap now. That's, that's the only thing I would add. Perfect. Well, sounds good. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate your time, Stephen. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Absolutely.